Good evening, everyone. I would like to thank the organizers and ICTP for giving me the opportunity to speak here and also for organizing this school and workshop. I'll be talking on tight Hilbert polynomial and irrational local rings. This is based on a joint work with Professor Kui and Professor Verma. Let us begin with some notation and definition. Let Rm be a Noetherian local ring and I be an M primary ideal. A sequence of ideals I sub n is called as an I filtration if for all M and N and Z the following holds. Firstly, I sub n is the entire ring R for all n less than equal to zero. Secondly, it is a descending sequence of ideals. Thirdly, it satisfies the graded property. And I to the power n is contained in I sub n. Further, this filtration is said to be I admissible if there exists a natural number R such that I sub n is contained in I to the power n minus R for all n and z. One of the trivial examples of I admissible filtrations is I addict filtration, wherein we consider powers of ideal I. The first non trivial example of I admissible filtrations was uh, given by Rees via integral closure filtration. The integral closure of an ideal i is denoted by i bar and is given by the collection of all elements x in r such that x satisfies the following equation wherein the coefficients come from the corresponding powers of the ideal i. These characterized analytically unramified rings as follows. Let me recall here that a ring is said to be Local ring Rm is said to be analytically unramified if the completion of R is reduced. Rees proved that a Noetherian local ring Rm is said to be analytically unramified if and only if the normal filtration, that is, we consider the integral closure of powers of I, of any M primary ideal I, is admissible. Admissible filtrations possess a way very interesting feature called as Hilbert Samuel polynomial. Let F be an admissible filtration and uh, R be Noetherian local ring with dimension D. Then the Hilbert Samuel function of F is defined in the, as the function which takes n to the length of R mod I sub n. And it turns out that this is a polynomial function. That is, there exists a polynomial with rational coefficients of degree D called the Hilbert Samuel polynomial of F such that the Hilbert Samuel function coincides with this polynomial for large values of n. The coefficients are referred to as the Hilbert coefficients, and E0f is called the multiplicity of f. In this talk, uh, I'd like to target a particular class of filtrations, that is tight closure filtrations, which is also talked about a lot in these two days. Let us set up some notations. For a Noetherian ring R of prime characteristic P, and an ideal I in R, we have the following notations. R O denotes the complement of union of minimal primes of R. The letter Q is reserved for the eighth power of prime P. Eighth Frobenius power of I is denoted by I square bracket Q and is given by the ideal generated by the Qth powers of the elements of I. Tight closure of I is defined as collection of all elements X in R, such that there exists C in R O, the property that C times X to the Q is in I square bracket Q for large values of Q. An ideal is said to be tightly closed if I equals its tight closure. Ideal is contained in its tight closure, which is further contained in its integral closure. Next, we have Brancon's Coda theorem, which states that for Noetherian ring R of prime characteristic P and an ideal I of R generated by N elements, the integral closure of I to the power n plus r is contained in the tight closure of i to the power r plus 1 for all natural numbers r. As an easy consequence to this, we obtain that when i is a principal ideal, then the tight closure coincides with the integral closure in this case. Now we have the notion of test elements. As the name suggests, this test element helps us detect whether an element belongs to the tight closure or not. An element c in ro is said to be test element for R if for all ideals I and for all X in I star, C times X to the Q belongs to the Qth power for all values of Q. The ideal generated by all the test elements is called as test ideal of R. 
The parameter test ideal of R is denoted by tau pair R and is the ideal generated by all the elements C in RO such that C times I star is in I for all parameter ideals I of R. And an element is said to be parameter test element if it is in the parameter test ideal as well as an RO. Due to this result of Hoxter and Hunicke, we have uh, test elements, existence of test elements in certain classes of rings, wherein the rings are reduced alg algebra of finite type over an excellent local ring of prime characteristic. And let's see in RO be such that R localized at C is regular, then some power of C turns out to be test element for R. Goel, Mukundan, and Verma recently introduced the notion of tight Hilbert polynomial. They proved the following. Let R be a d-dimensional analytically unramified local ring with prime characteristic P and I be an M primary ideal of I. Let tau be the tight closure filtration. That is, we consider the tight closure of powers of I. Then tau is an I admissible filtration. And therefore, corresponding to this, we would have a polynomial which is called as tight Hilbert polynomial. And it is given by the following expression. Here, E0 star of i is same as the multiplicity of i. And, the, and all the other coefficients are called as the tight Hilbert coefficients of i. Hilbert coefficients are very useful in determining certain invariants of ideals and rings. Here are some of the results from the past literature in the same direction. Nordcott showed that if R is a Cohen Macaulay local ring and I is an M primary ideal, then E1 of I is equal to zero if and only if I is a complete intersection. Nagata showed in 1961 that the variant ring RM is regular if and only if R is unmixed and the multiplicity with respect to the maximal ideal is equal to one. Vasconcellos in 2008 conjectured that for any ideal Q generated by a system of parameters, even if Q is strictly less than zero, if and only if R is not Cohen Macaulay. Mandel Singh and Verma proved the following in 2011 that R M be a local ring, then even if I is less than equal to zero for any parameter ideal I. Gizi et al. settled the conjecture in 2010 by proving that in a formally unmixed local ring, is Cohen Macaulay if and only if even if Q is equal to zero for some parameter ideal Q. It is natural to expect that even the tight Hilbert coefficients can be used to characterize certain properties of the ring. And it has been recently proved that the vanishing of first tight Hilbert coefficients gives us a rationality of the rings under certain hypothesis. Let us look at the definition of f rational rings. H elements x1 so on till xh are called as parameters if the height of the ideal generated by them is exactly equal to h and the corresponding ideal is called as a parameter ideal. A ring is said to be a fractional if all the parameter ideals are tightly closed. Here are some examples and non-examples. Let k be a field of characteristic p and s be the polynomial ring k x by z. r be the quotient ring s mod ideal generated by x square minus y cube minus z7 and I be the ideal generated by y comma z here throughout the small case letters denote the image of the corresponding uppercase letters in the quotient ring. Now here I is the ideal generated by system of parameters and x is an I star. Therefore, we have that the ring is not a rational. On the other hand, in the second case, wherein we have the quotient s mod ideal generated by x square minus y cube minus z to the seven, and i is the ideal generated by y comma z, then x does not belong to i star if and only if p is strictly greater than seven, and therefore it is f rational if and only if p is strictly greater than seven. Goel, Mukundan, and Verma proved that uh, in analytically unramified Cohen Macaulay local ring with prime characteristic p, the following characterization holds. The ring is f rational if and only if even star of i is equal to zero for some i generated by system of parameters. Nikke asked the question whether the same characterization holds if Cohen Macaulay assumption is replaced by the unmixed. He asked the following let RM be an analytically unramified unmixed local invariant ring and Q be an ideal generated by system of parameters. 
Is it true that even star of i is equal to zero if and only if r is irrational? In the case of dimension one, we have positive answer. In fact, it turns out to be regular. Let r be a ring of dimension one and i be principal ideal, which is m primary. Now, since r is Kohen Macaulay, because r is reduced, and uh, even star of i is equal to zero, it forces the ring to be f rational by the Goel Mukundan Verma criterion. Now consider a minimal reduction B of M. Then from Bancon's Coda theorem, we have that the tight closure coincides with the integral closure. As the ring is f rational in this case, the tight closure is itself, and therefore maximal ideal is generated by single element, which says that the ring is regular local ring. In the case of higher dimensions, in dimension two itself, we have a counterexample, which is given as follows: Let K be a field of prime characteristic P greater than or equal to three, and R be the power series ring K x four x cube by x y cube by four. Let Q be any m primary parameter ideal of R. Then it turns out that even star of Q is equal to zero, but the ring is not f rational. Now we have the definition of the tight closure of zero in the topmost local cohomology. Let Rm be a d-dimensional Noetherian local ring of characteristic P. The tight closure of zero in HDMR is given by collection of all elements in HDMR such that there exists C in RO with the property that C times the eth Frobenius action on eta vanishes for large values of P. So we were able to compute the tight Hilbert coefficients in this case. Let Rm be an excellent reduced equidimensional local ring of prime characteristic P and dimension at least two. Let X1 so until Xt be a parameter test element, be parameter test elements, and Q be the ideal generated by them. Then we have the following expressions for the tight Hilbert coefficients in terms of the usual Hilbert coefficients. And we also have an expression of uh, the tight Hilbert coefficients in terms of the length of local cohomology modules and the length of tight closure of zero in HDMR. Morales, Chung, and Willemeyer prove the following. Let RM be an analytically unramified excellent local domain and I be an M primary parameter ideal. If even bar of I is equal to even of I, then the ring is regular and I to the power, the integral closure of I to the power N is equal to I to the power N for all N. Here, by even bar of I, we mean the first Hilbert coefficient corresponding to the integral closure filtration. We have an analog uh, of this theorem for the tight closure. Let Rm be an excellent reduced equidimensional local ring of prime characteristic P and dimension at least two. X1 so until XG be parameter test elements and Q be the ideal generated by them. Then the ring is f rational if and only if even star of Q is equal to zero. Uh, and the depth of the ring is at least two. And if and only if even star of Q is equal to even of Q. Here is an example to show that the depth assumption on the ring is not superfluous. Let S be the power series ring Fp, Xy, Zw, and R be the ring S mod I intersect J, where I is ideal generated by X pi and J is ideal generated by Zw. Let A be the element X plus Z and B be the element Y plus Z and Q be the ideal generated by A comma B. Then even star of Q is equal to zero, but the ring is not a rational. What goes wrong in this case is the depth of the ring is equal to one, so it does not satisfy this assumption. And this characterization also partially answers Honeke's question in certain classes of rings. With this, I would like to conclude my talk. Here are some of the references used. Thank you very much.